right, guys, we're uh, we're gonna do the exhaust video. I'm gonna show you how to make a custom exhaust cheap. I've bought a few, not this particular one, but a few different cheap lower end ones off of Amazon before and put them on like Chinese bikes and the kids' go kart and stuff like that. And they actually sound pretty good. Now, this is a really nice exhaust. I can't remember the name of it, but it's a clone. A real nice stainless steel carbon fiber. Um, and from what I heard, it sounds good. So, before we get started, what I need you to do is scroll down, click the like, and the share and the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss the video. There's a secret, but you gotta watch the whole video to figure it out. And you'll figure it out. It's something you're watching this video you may not like. You'll figure it out, okay? So, with that said, you gotta take the stock exhaust off. It's super simple, easy. You take off the four springs, and then up at the top, there's two 10 millimeter or 13 millimeter bolts that you take out. Bada boom, bada bang, off and out. But you're gonna wanna cut this flange off. You can buy these flanges or even have them made, but I wanted to make it easier on myself since I'm not ever gonna use this again. But I am gonna keep it around as a just in case. I ever have to weld this back on there for some reason I don't know well probably not but anyway where it's welded at you'll see where this flange is welded you want to cut right on the first side of the weld coming up because you still want this little lip to be there this little lip now you could cut it down to this little lip so it'll fit inside this exhaust tubing but we want a gradual slope. We don't want an edge that's going to be real bumpy and touchy for the air to not flow right. So we want a nice gradual edge into this because this is slightly smaller than a 2-inch pipe. Now, these exhausts are $39. I ordered this pre-bent tubing off of Amazon. It's also $29. It's like $41 shipped. You get two pieces, but you can get a single piece for 20 bucks. I chose to get two pieces because if I ever do an exhaust on my wife's, I'll have it. Or if I go to do an exhaust mod for a customer or something, I'll have it. Now, this bend is what we're after. And this bend is what we're after. But what I think is going to have to happen is we're going to have to trim this. We're going to have to weld this on, and if you look, it leaves me a nice little lip with that flange. Leaves me a nice welding lip. And it's going to get welded on like this, because I may end up putting the heat shield, bolting the heat shield back up on there. I don't know yet. But it gives me a real nice lip to weld to. I already cleaned it up. It doesn't look like it's clean, but you can see the shiny metal. I already cleaned it up yesterday. Saved us a whole hassle. So what I think we're going to have to do is we're going to have to shorten this. I got to figure that out. We're going to shorten this so it fits on the machine. And then what we're going to have to do is cut this. Okay. And then we're going to twist this so this part will still be where it's at, but this part will be on this side. But this part will still be over here. So we're gonna twist this. What would that be, 180 degree or something? We're gonna twist that, we're gonna weld her back up. And I contemplated on painting it with heat paint, but I don't know. This is supposed to be some high quality stuff, so I may just leave it alone and let this oil naturally burn off. And by getting rid of this, you get rid of a lot of extra heat because this has a catalytic converter in it. And we already talked about this before. For a catalytic converter to work, it must get red hot. So it heats up to burn off all the crap. Okay? 
we're getting rid of a lot of heat. So anyway, what I'm going to do, instead of boring you guys with all the details, I'm going to go cut, well, I'm going to go measure this, see what the measurements are. I'll let you guys know what you got to cut. And I'll show you, and we're going to weld it all up on camera and everything and get it fit. All right, I'll be right back. Keep, keep watching. You won't even know I'm gone. Okay guys, so I've kind of set it up in the machine and kind of figured out where I need to cut and what I need to cut and how I want to cut it. It looks to me like we're only going to need two cuts. We're going to cut here anywhere just so that we can twist this back around. And then here it looks like we're going to cut it just a little bit after the, the elbow there. That should give us enough room. If not, I have another one. So I'm, I'm going to try and cut it right here and then I'm going to take it over to the machine and kind of see if it fits right up. So I took all you guys' advice and I found my, they're not really my safety glasses, but they're better than nothing. They actually are safety glasses. They're just not the really, really, really good ones that I usually use, but they actually, they are safety glasses. Believe it or not, they are. Okay, so we're going to cut it right here. Cut it here so we can twist her on up. Like I said, you're just gonna want to cut it in the middle. In the middle is where I'm thinking I'll be able to weld it real good. Where I'll be able to weld it real good. Wherever, just in there. Okay. Doesn't matter. straight this is one guide to cut a straight cut is actually to use a bandsaw I don't own one so if anybody wants to send me one PM me I'll give you my address because it'll really help me do some builds for you guys hey that actually that actually isn't too shabby I was able to clean up that cut pretty nice guys Pretty freaking nice, man. I really like it. I just don't like my weeble wobbly freaking table. What the heck? Um, but anyway, essentially, this is how it's going to go. And then, this bad boy. Yeah. And we're going to, um, somewhere on here, we're going to have, well, we're going to have the little things for the springs. We've got to weld those on. Um, and what we got to do is weld on some brackets. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do that too. We're going to do it all, baby. If anybody ever wants to send me anything to review or to do, PM me. I'll give you my address. And, uh, well, we're about to break out the welder. But you see what I did? I trimmed that back. And then I rolled it over now we're gonna tack weld this i'm gonna retrofit her and see if it is gonna line up the way i think it is these pieces were awesome so
Hello? Okay guys, sorry about the phone ringing. That was a very important. That was wholesale ATV. I guess this lets the cat out the bag. My ECU. So, you can finish watching the exhaust video, but you're not going to be able to hear it today because my machine don't run. Because my ECU is in Tennessee. Getting tuned. So anyway, that's why we tack weld. That right there. Fit it up, okay? That right there is exactly why we tack well. Alright? Why we tack well, but I still gotta cut this down. Okay? So we're gonna cut that down real quick. And this should put it in the spot that I want. So guys, I wanted to mention the best way to get the flattest cut is to, let me see the grinder. Whenever you cutting, just kind of line it up with this and let your pipe ride here because this is flat, it'll keep you nice and level. Also, let the more, the most that you can of the pipe rides flat against the blade. And then just keep rotating your pipe. That gives you the best cut, even though this isn't the straightest tool to cut pipe with, or anything for that matter, but it gets the job done. And we go like this, and we go like that, and we go, go, go. Let me flip this around. Yeah, it's gonna go like so. Okay, we'll, we'll tack weld this first. That's pretty straight edge, but. It's gonna have to do. We'll just tack welder up. Okay? okay. Just tack welder up. Let's see what we can do here. I don't even know why I put my gloves on the first time because all we're doing is tack welding. Okay. I'm all set. Now we got that tack welded. Tack weld this puppy. She's practically where I want her. She's, she's pretty much where I want her. Okay. We'll go fit her up.
Free fitment number 20. Not really. Okay, so let's recap. This is exactly where I want it to fit. We cut her down by a lot, okay? <laughs> if you buy this exact pipe, you're gonna cut her down to roughly 20 inches. And you're gonna cut her right to where it bends. Right there on this bend lip. And you're gonna cut this off the muffler right on the top of the weld. And then cut this, cut it. So yeah, cut it down to 20 inches, roughly. Make sure you tack weld it, make sure it fits the way you want. How many of you got one of these? This thing is old school. Old school. Actually not welding too shabby. Good thing I'm fat. Can't see nothing. Let it cool down, guys. Just a little bit. There's some little holes. Turn the wire down. <laughs> Oh yes, that'll be plenty of tension.
the cheap Chinesium broke it off. Well, melted. make our brackets we have where this sits we have that piece that comes out from the top with the one bolt we're gonna make a bracket from this side to this side so let's do that this is some thick heavy shit but don't worry because we have a whole big weight reduction from there so I'm going to cut it here, now I'm going to put it on here, put it there, we're going to cut it off this big. Okay, those are welded up there, nice and tight. Now let's clean them up. exhaust I'm gonna finish cleaning it up and I am gonna paint it okay I do got heat paint I am gonna paint it if that's a okay with you 
All right, guys. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, it's complete. It just needs painted. I am going to paint it. I decided to paint it. I want it to look really nice, so I'm going to finish cleaning up some of my welds here and all that. We're going to we're gonna paint her up. We can't hear it run today anyway. Excuse me. <clears throat> we can't hear it run today anyway. Because my ECU is still in Tennessee. I should have it back in a couple days. But trust me guys, keep an eye out because I'm doing the ECU tune review from Wholesale ATV. And it's gonna be a pretty bad to the bone video. It's coming. Uh, it'll probably be next week's video. This will be this week's. You'll see it this coming Sunday. Uh, today's the 31st. So you'll see this one. And then keep an eye out for the ECU video. Because that video is going to be our sound test. It's going to be our everything test with the new tune. So we're going to see what this performance upgrade does. All of us people with the 800s, we know how they are stock. And they're pretty sweet machine stock. And to be completely honest, if it weren't for you guys, I probably wouldn't even be doing none of this because I really liked my machine just the way it was. On the exception, I'm a louder exhaust type of guy. I like my machine to be heard. Especially, I, I, there's nothing that I love more than sitting back at camp and hearing the bikes just rat, 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 up freaking hills and everything. It's just so sweet of a noise. Some of you might think the exhaust is annoying, but you can still do this exhaust mod and not have it loud. It'll be a little more throatier but not louder. We, you, it comes with this uh, sound, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, the sound deadener or whatever. It comes with this. This is coming out of mine. So yeah, there's no question about it. But I will keep it in a glove box just in case we go somewhere that they're not too keen on the loud exhaust and I can slap it back in at any given time that I want to. So. Please guys, I really appreciate you watching. This is so simple and easy to do. Why pay $500 when it only took me an hour and a half, an hour and a half guys to do this. An hour and a half of my time that gives me something to do. And this whole build cost me $80. I mean, yeah, I used some grinding disc, buck. I used a little bit of welding wire, who gives a crap? And you can do this without welding it. You can get pipe clamps and stuff, so don't be afraid, guys. Or cut it, have it marked out, and take it to a, a shop. Somebody's going to charge you probably 30 bucks to weld that up. That's probably what I would charge you, 30 bucks, And then you can clean the welds up yourself with a grinder. A grinder is like 40 bucks. At, this is a Hercules. It might be 50 bucks. I don't remember what I paid for it, but... I really like this grinder, guys. This thing is not no Harbor Freight cheap-ass cheapo. It's a Harbor Freight cheap, cheapo good one, okay? I love it. I've had it for a while now, and it's just, dude, it turns on when I want it. It's nice and smooth. Not a whole lot of vibe. Well, that's a whole other video. I already made it. Good look. But anyway, guys, we're going to paint this puppy up, and I don't think I'm going to use the included bracket that came with this because there's nowhere for me to mount it to but i don't know we'll see how it goes and all that we will see but i think this is going to be plenty along with those springs i think it's going to be plenty this right here is going to have the majority of the weight on it anyway but we'll see how it goes but it should be just fine guys all right, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you keep an eye out. Click that bell. Keep an eye out for the ECU tune video because that video 
is going to be our sound test, guys. We don't want to miss that. I'll probably hear it in a couple of days. And if it sounds like shit, then you probably won't even see this video because I should have the ECU back before you see this video. So if you see this video, it sounds sweet. All right. Give me a thumbs up, guys, please. Give me a thumbs up. The more likes and shares and subscribers I get, the more cool stuff I can do. Well, I'm going to paint this up. It's going to look really nice. I got some black uh, uh, grill paint. It's good for 1,200 degrees. It should do this just fine. I'm not going to paint this, of course. But this I sure am going to paint. All right, guys. Give me a like. Give me a dislike if you disliked it. If you disliked it, you're probably a Polaris owner. So I, don't worry. I won't cry for you. All right, Redneck Garage out. Later.